Ashley, thank you. Mayor Joe Hogsett now requires all city county employees to complete two hours of harassment training annually. It will also roll out an anonymous online reporting form that will soon be available to all employees. The city says that they will also hire a national firm without any local ties to review and update the employee handbook. This comes after Hogsett's former top aide faces allegations of sexual harassment from multiple former staffers. And Indiana's best political team is blasting Mayor Joe Hogsett's handling of sexual harassment allegations against his former uh, uh, chief of staff. Rather, They say Hogsett has failed to meet the gravity of the situation in his actions and his words. News 8's government reporter Garrett Berquist brings us what they say needs to happen. Mayor Joe Hogsett spoke about the allegations against former chief of staff Thomas Cook at Monday's city county council meeting. To former City of Indianapolis employee Caroline Ellert and former campaign employee Lauren Roberts, who I believe are with us tonight. I want to tell you both, and the third anonymous individual who also shared her story, how sorry I am for the harm that has occurred. And I apologize profoundly. Democratic strategist Arielle Brandy says Hogsett's apology is inadequate. She says the former staffers who say Cook sexually harassed and abused them will have to live with that for the rest of their lives. When you have two women who have put forth horrific stories about what has happened to them and the fact that it has been ignored and there have been no policies or procedures put in place to not only protect and also serve the people that work for you, I think that speaks volumes not only to how you're conducting your administration, but also to the type of environment that you are allowing take place in your workplace. Hogsett says Cook's behavior was investigated in 2017 and he was disciplined. But Roberts says she was never interviewed or even contacted about any investigation. Republican contributor Mario Masalamini is a former prosecutor and currently a criminal defense attorney. He says employers have to deal with sexual harassment swiftly and aggressively. As an employer, you you don't have the opportunity to be careful or cautious. You need you need to, uh, you know, when these allegations are brought forward, as an employer, you need to take the proper steps necessary to conduct an investigation, call them in, go through step by step, see if there's corroborating evidence, and then uh, uh, terminate that employee, not not allow them to continue working. And then when he came on for the reelection campaign, that that's another huge egregious step because there were two prior instances before this third third occurred. Hogsett and the council have said they will implement the changes Roberts and Ellert recommend. Those include comprehensive sexual harassment prevention training for all employees, an independent probe into the city's handling of the Cook allegations, and no-cost mental health support for survivors. Brandy says she's been calling for such changes in public offices and in political campaigns for years. This is something that just has been a part of American society, and until we can get a grasp on it and actually call it out for what it is and hold people accountable, we can't keep putting people in positions of power and allowing them to abuse it for the people that are actually trying to help get them elected. You can see much more of that conversation this Sunday morning on All Indiana Politics. It airs at 9.30 right here on WISH TV. I'm Garrett Bergquist for WISH TV, wishtv.com, or follow us on Facebook for updates.